Hey guys, welcome to Redneck Lifestyles. So, uh, the well, one of the last videos Walter would have, would have put up was um, was the grass application video. And don't mind the sirens in the background, but uh, it's been six days now, and I'm going to show you the setup we have, what we're working with here. Four nozzles set on timers, four zones, can do up to four waters per day and the guy said no more than 15 minutes per water. The only issue I have with that is it's so freaking hot out. Too hot. So finally on day six, um, let me try and fast forward this a bit here. I'm going to show you some areas where they were watered and the moisture stayed and then show you some areas where the it was watered but not enough for the moisture to get underneath. This is my backyard. You can tell exactly where the sun hits for the most part where the, where the sprinkler system is stopped by the leaves here. So minimal water mix there but you can tell this is a very moist spot here and as well way over there by the tree is a moist spot by the fence obviously against the house but this whole area here gets hit by a lot of sun right so we managed to keep this this section moist for the last probably five out of the six days and if you look really close we have grass Let's zoom out here lots of grass my entire backyard is covered in little baby grass you can't really see it, but I can see it here. Let me take, take you to the front yard and show you as well. I'm going to show you another spot that was kept moist uh, the last five days and a spot that was not able to keep up based on our current heat wave. So this is a section between me and my neighbor. This is a section on the corner of my, of my street. You can see the wet spots that are always maintain the moisture. The rest of the area uh, gets pretty dehydrated but I don't even need to zoom in and you can see the green of my grass look at the spot here under my tree forest of green anyways my point is you need to make sure you water 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 it's very important to water here's a better view of what I mean run the sprinkler absolutely soaked even hours later everything else evaporates the top is evaporated feel free to make sure underneath to see if there is any moist soil at all or if it is dehydrated all the way through it's important to keep approximately two inches of soil moist at all times on my corner spot it's very hot very dry very windy on the daily basis so you can see again here that there's a moist area on this this side right here the shade helps it throughout the day and as you can see here, I bet, oh, hold on here. There you go. There's a good spot right there. You can see now the shade of the tree, the shade of the house. Help, help save it there. Again, you can see here, it does slightly dried up here. But because we water so much in this backyard every day, there's a promising future of grass coming up. It's a matter of making sure that we actually water fully. Fully, fully, fully. All my hoses and sprinklers I purchased at Canadian Tire. I highly recommend these types. Also this old fashioned one works really good too. And here's another sprinkler I purchased at Canadian Tire. All this, all these hoses I also purchased at Canadian Tire. They always have great deals on all kinds of gardening items, especially in midsummer. One thing I'd be more prepared for next time, these guys. Customizing the length of your hose. Once you know where you want your sprinkler set up to get the full uh, Whatever the full watering aspect out of it. You're always gonna have overspray. Overspray is good onto the onto the concrete because When it's windy You don't have to worry About your grass getting a full coverage. I was having this issue probably actually every day of the week anytime after 7 a.m. and All the way till 9 10 p.m. 
So all I had to start was just setting my, my sprinkler system up that it would set. It would be just spring on the concrete. And then when it got windy, it was always covering it, no problem. Um, but yeah, so definitely think about that when, whenever you're going to do this hydro seeding, make sure you always keep it, your, your, your soil wet. Uh, the layer that they spray over top is a, let me just pick this up here for a second. Here, look at this. How thick that is. That is, oops, that is exactly what I'm talking about. There's mulch in there. There is like some paper, paper product in there as well. Works really good. Creates a very thick membrane layer on top. So no matter how much you water, you will, you will not erode your um your soil which is the best thing ever he did he did a really good job i think there's a shout out in uh my previous in, in walter's previous hydro seeding video um make sure you check it out yeah i'm gonna do a third video here probably in two weeks to see the final process and give my final two cents on do's don'ts and uh regrets and uh celebrations to it all right Bit of a lawn nut. You can ask my wife about that. A little crazy, but hey, the grass was growing. And one more thing I want to mention is uh, at the three-week mark, you always have to cut your grass because there is uh, other types of grass that need to grow after the fact. This gr this grass grows fast to the surface, uh, but you you want Kentucky bluegrass as your final piece. Anyways, from the city, but remember, stay redneck. Right <laughs>